not only am I ready to start streaming, but you're ready to. I'm ready to activate social. Wow. Yeah. Impressive. You heard right. One. I can. I can type. You, you can rub your stomach and pat your head at the same no, time. No, I didn't say I could do that, but I can. <laughs> I can start the show and tweet mm. simultaneously. Mm -hmm. um, brewing. Still tweeting. Stuff. Show's already started. Yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm saying I can do both at the same time. Um, well, I mean, yay! Can you? I mean, you're kind of ignoring one for the other. Tapping. Well, no. They, How does that make you feel? They love. They love just... to see the middle of my forehead right here. That's mm. their favorite part mm. of the Jerry head. Um, tapping. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are we done yet? No. Uh, yeah, absolutely yeah. not. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, man, this intro is uh, pretty great. Well, I mean, I, uh, thank you. I um, honestly like. I was like, it, and what, what I'm trying is a little bit of a tray, it's a little mm -hmm. bit zesty, and... 210 episodes in, I've got a stash. Yeah. Shut up. It's, it's like the, your first baby, Yeah. it's like it's a big production. The second baby, it's like it just like, falls out on the table. Like, no one gives a shit. Your 210th baby? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, your 210th fucking... baby, you don't even know it fell oh, out. Yeah. Usually people try to improve as they go further into the... Yeah, but no, see, we go down the That's where they're doing it wrong. Yeah. Yeah. That's where they're doing it absolutely wrong. Mm, okay. Now listen, listen to this Crimson Crew Night. It's good that Eric cares about chat. But listen, you guys have a financial relationship, okay? You are essentially a painter okay, don't to the say king. That TOS. You're the Jesus. you're a painter. To the king. Okay, now that's even funnier. All right, now, uh, phoning it in is exactly right. Now listen to this. Uh, hello, uh, it is I, your internet friend Jeffrey K. Horcrux, and however it came to be, if one asks backwards. And to Twitch's brewing program, Acquisitions Intoxicated, its noble purpose. Go, go, no, no, Ghostly is basically like the, the audience for this. Its noble purpose uh, to give you that which you already own, the art and science of brewing. But I love that you were ready with the litany. Um, I am joined, as almost always, by Acquisitions Intoxicated Brewmaster and so much more, Eric J. Benson, Edge, Azerbaijan Notorious EGB. Um, now, I know that you, you may be looking at the the sacred tools and raiment of our trade um, and wondering how all these things combine um, you know to manufacture alcohol well nothing uh, would bring us more pleasure than to show you the entire rich narrative arc that turns seeds into regret that's right um, we're going to show you the entire process here today now so we have uh, this and we have this what are we brewing today in the sacred crucible this is uh... Black is the new orange. Oh, black is the new orange. The black is the orange. Yeah, yeah. This is the this is the Hannah beer. Mm. Black this is, is the orange. I don't think that's right. Black is black is the orange. Black. Um, but we're essentially talking about uh, a sweet stout. I think that was the style yep. it ended up being. Yep. So we're looking at five pounds of Maris Otter, and then a little bit of chocolate, and uh, some crystal. So what you're talking about is heaven. Mm. You're talking about roasty, toasty, chocolate, caramel, beer. Yeah, it's a place beer. on Earth. Yeah. Yeah, it's a place in my, in my crop. So good. So wholesome. Here, get your mitts in here. Get in there. No, you're fucking up my diet. Oh, oh are, are, do, you have, do, you, do you have to avoid these sacred... Anything. These sacred be yeah, any good thing, <laughs> any good delicious thing must be stopped. All right. Well, I won't make you eat any more of I'm our sacred beer. So any, any of our sacred mystery house. I thought. I, I think there's some greens. Yeah. Over here now. Um, what is the hop situation? Uh, in they this, went away on a in this, Yeah, and they, they left the keys to the brand new keg. I don't know. Did you ever have a friend whose dad had a kegerator? It never happened to me, but I always fantasized about it. If that seems like a dangerous thing to have in the house. It seems like young people would frequently be drinking beer from it. I don't know. I, that's, that's, I mean, this is what happened, right? You're not mm -hmm. going to get much out of it. Like, if you get three friends over, you're going to get a little drunk. I mean, you're going to get 125 beers. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's true. But, but what I like is that there's this long period in the middle where dad has no idea. Like, what's happening inside the keg? <laughs> He doesn't know. He doesn't know the device. But it's like, so the people who made this, they also made like a fancy pants kegerator. Do you remember mm -hmm. that? Mm -hmm. That it tracked it. It had an app. 
<laughs> it was a keg of the cloud. Um, and it would tell you how many drinks you had in there so that your wicked son. Oh, nice. I think it's supposed to be so you know when to reorder a new one. But No, I, I, I think this is about tamping down the youth. Now, uh, how much of this uh, Hallerto Blanc? Half an ounce. Half an ounce. Everybody in the club with it's supposed a... supposed to be Belma, but we they ran with... out of Belma, so we're switching it up. Oh, yeah. I mean, pineapple, gooseberry, white grape, fresh yeah. lemongrass. This is going to be killer in there, for sure. All right. Lemongrass is like, that's like the quintessential hop. The herbal, tangy, citrus thing. I might have gotten too excited. Yeah, okay. A little bit. Well, I'm going to watch you this. You have to eat whatever is over. Oh, God. Fuck no. That is not a good idea. <laughs> I wouldn't even let anybody do that. I would foam at the mouth um, like Cujo. That'd be sweet. That's the old school reference. Is anybody watching True Detective? No. The new one? Yeah. yeah. I really liked the first one, and then it was really bad. The first and... one was really good. The other two were okay. Yeah. I heard the third, this latest one is really good, though. Yes, yeah, and that's, that, that's what makes me think we're going back in time. So, uh, we're going to grab this. I, I just wanted more of those, those first two guys. Yeah, yeah, turning an obvious winning cast into some type of um, anthology show? I don't understand why they're doing this either. It's not working that well for American Horror Story. Why would you copy that? I don't know. They keep making American Horror Story. I know. Someone likes it. They After keep... the first season, that one was not so great either. Yeah. The yeah. first season was completely different than anything after it. I thought it was just going to be a continuous show. Yeah, why wouldn't it be? Or, or at any rate, if it's going to be an anthology, I mean, every now and then, let's come back, right? Well, and also maybe spell it out. Exactly. If you will. And All right. doing that bullshit. Yeah, that bullshit. Although the same thing happened with Fargo. They keep changing that, too. And after the the second one was not as good, definitely, as the first one. No. This one was the best again. No. All right. Apparently, now, if you just want a scary show, you set it in Alaska. Oh, yeah, Alaska's terrifying. Alaska is a place for a very specific type of person. Um, and, and that I know that because my sister lived there forever. And it is a lot of whack jobs. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of people that just can't, that can't live in society, but also don't, uh, also occasionally want to, they don't want to have to bury their shit every time they use the bathroom. There's a midpoint there somewhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, Crimson comes from there. And you know about him. Mm -hmm. that's, all, that's all I had to say. I mean, I felt like that was the subtext. Man, this, this faux ancient tavern that we operate this program in is gonna smell pretty fucking good. What do you smell this? What, what do you want me to yeah. smell? Oh, is it good? <laughs> that, that, that stuff smells great. All right, here. So, because we discussed it before, it is now time. So imagine, I don't want to drink that. You have to. And you have to like... drink. You have to drink this whole yeah. jar. That's fucking horrifying. You have to drink. This entire jar. Did you just and if piss into a mason jar and say we're gonna drink this. If your not. piss looks like yeah, that, you need to see like a doctor. That. Is, is doctor. that no? My my piss does my. This is this this isn't my piss. Uh, no. Now, here is uh, what you need to know about this precious beast, so sacred, um, to the Holkins line. Um. In the same manner as a god, I summoned life from the elemental stuff of the world. Yeah, I, I use some elemental stuff, but not. Yeah, I guess it is the elemental stuff of life, but it's a jar of it. No, here. Can't you go sell that at a bank for like 50 bucks or something? I could probably rob a bank with it. Yeah. Now, it's not beaver juice. It's, you wicked, you wicked demons. I don't know why people are constantly talking about beavers on this channel. It has to stop. 
it has to stop. But anyway, so what is this thick syrupy piss you might ask? I'm only too happy to answer. Uh, this is the ginger bug mm -hmm. that I described before. So we were talking about different ways to brew, different ways to approach it. Obviously, one very elaborate way is the mystery we reveal weekly here on this program, which is to uh, master this grain bill, um, combine it with a preservative, let yeast go crazy on it, and turn it into something else, right? But there are other simpler brew forms that don't result in the same type of alcohol production. It's not zero, <laughs> but these other yeasts are like, these other yeasts are like Goku, like G training in the satellite. Like these other yeasts, they are, they are designed for an explicit purpose. Um, and they do so with great vigor. But this is, if you can picture it, a, a jar, you know, originally full, uh, filtered water, right? Not chlorinated. It has essentially two, about one and a half maybe ginger roots ground with the skin placed inside here along with a little bit of sugar at each feeding and then the natural creatures inside and outside that ginger essentially sort of set up shop in this in, in this inoculant so this is like a sourdough starter i you're you're intimidated by my fluid all right this is like a sourdough starter that you can drink no, nope. I don't like any part of that fucking <laughs> sentence. That, I mean, that sounds bad. I'll give you that. That doesn't sound like something that one might want. But here, let's just, let me just put this sauce. I guess you could drink sourdough starter. Here, now let me just put this right under your nose. I want you to smell this thick piss. I swear to God, this smells like fucking... Oh, it smells... Oh, yeah, it smells like fucking... Jerked off Satan's the colon. Yeah. No, here. Oh, wow. See? Just a little mildly yeasty, right? The concentration of this yeast, compared to like a brewing yeast, it, it's just not at the same level. It's gentle, right? It does... Brewing yeast has, a, has an odor. Yes, it does gentle work, right? And this is all we're gonna do. We're gonna take a half cup... So you're gonna be serving me cold ass... Or of my excuse urine. Excuse me, warm ass? Warm urine. ass, thank you. Oh, a little syrupy there, huh? A little rich. We don't have any ice to go with this? Like, no, 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 no. It has to age. No, no, it has to age for a week. Oh, motherfucker, you couldn't even bring in the real thing? No, no, no. This I, is a show. You I wanted to show. Like, here's how we do it. Oh, magically, there's like four more that are ready. I mean, listen, this is not the have fucking you, food network. Have, have you I'm learned not, anything from I, TV cook shows? No, no. Jesus Christ. No, I, when, when, when Food Network came on. That's how you do it like lies. I don't yeah. like that way. Here, but it's like this. Now, now it's I gotta wait for your piss juice incorrect, to mature. Incorrect, incorrect. Yes. It's trust me, this piss juice is mature. <laughs> but what I'm saying is that it now it's content for two shows. Oh, you see, damn. you see what I'm, I'm always fucking on the prowl. No, exactly. Now this is just some regular juice. If you wanted to make uh, the ratio is essentially a half cup of that goo to uh, seven and a half cups of whatever you want to become something cool. So that can be sweetened tea, juice. Um, the most simple preparation is actually just to add additional sugar, ginger, and water, and make ginger ale, and, and, and make ginger ale, right? Classic ginger ale. But so check this out. So we're, all we're gonna do is we're just gonna put these things in here. So this is much simpler. Well, this is probably comparable to mead, yeah. right? We're just putting these two things in here together. They're gonna hang out for a little bit. I'm gonna cap this back up with its sacred hat, right? But then over time, I mean, these creatures love to be in here. You can add more water, right? Add more sugar, maintain the inoculant. Now watch this. You wanna add more ginger to it too, or? This right here is just gonna be a cider and that is a super concentrated okay. ginger solution, mm -hmm. right? You, you certainly could. Yeah, I mean, th this is, you're messing around with this just like we screw around with the recipes for brewing. You can mess around with this all you want. Part of what I want to know is what happens when you make, what's that? Yeah, part of what I want to know is 
If I just, if thinking about this as a back end production thing, if I just grab. Um, what does it taste like right now? A bottle of juice? Nope. I mean, no, I'm gonna do it. I mean, I'll drink it. I'll drink it. Yeah, I mean, I'll drink it. No problem. Oh, Mostly. Like right. piss. Um, it smells good. How does it taste good? Um, Come on, Eric. Now you got to judge. No, 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 no. Oh. I, we're not going to make him do it. He is. You said it tastes good. He is. Oh, yeah. To me, <laughs> he is intimidated by our mystery. Now, there's going to there's going to be a mess here. What I want to show you is just that this is a normal. I just want you to see the whole process. It's really it's a good toss, Sam Malone. Ah! Oh no! Oh, I did that. Thank you. Watch this. Just put some back in there. The no, no. Uh, this is this is all part of it, right? Mm -hmm. Not. How much air gap? You gotta stop earlier. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not saying that, that that fucking up is part of it. I'm saying part of what I wanted to do with this, because again, the rest of these processes are, especially for traditional brewing, there's a lot more sophisticated um, sterilization and stuff like that that goes into it. These bottles can be cleaned with soap and water. We're not asking the same type of thing, and we're not fermenting to the same degree. So down here, in, in the... In the normal world, you, you want an air gap because it's still going to ferment. Okay. Stop. And so you want to burp these, essentially. Um, I was burping them each day. And then when you burp them and you get like a decent pop. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, but you, you see the bubbles going up like you would in a soda. Then you put them in the fridge. That's it. Fair enough. That's literally the whole process. So it's quick, it's quick and dirty, but it is a traditional form of brewing that, you know, I know it's crazy, but it's a traditional form of brewing that is like a probiotic uh, tincture. It's fucking weird. It's just weird that it's real, but it's absolutely something that you can do at home, especially if you have a, a plump larvae. So yeah, I mean, the, the ginger bug, Basically, you leave these at room temperature, typically in a dark area. And that's it. My partner is really pretty bad morning sickness. I wonder if it's my, I know ginger helps with that. Oh, well, you could, you, you know what you should do? You should go, um, like Eric likes a really strong ginger ale, like a Bundaberg. Yeah. So you could yeah, definitely, it, you're not going to go wrong. Dude, you will be, you will be husband of the year if you make a probiotic ginger soda tincture for your pregnant wife. Like, yes. this is not even a question. You should start doing this today. Um, but yeah, I mean, hopefully she'll smell it and it will smell like something she wants to drink. I have some experience with this, yeah. with no, these dark times. She is, she is rather sensitive when it comes to smell. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's, it's, it's fucked up. They just can't be in certain places. Um, but yes, so now these creatures essentially just go into a cupboard. Can we put them in the uh, fridge or? Uh, no, not the fridge yet. Because the, we put them in the fridge after we open it and it pops and we see the bubbles shoot up all the way through, right? Because that's when we want to sort of retard that process, right? Once it's at the right, once it's at that right silky texture, we're putting it back, we're ready to go. But no, if you put it in the fridge to ferment to begin with, it'll take for fucking ever. <laughs> Are you putting that next to the keg? This is gonna be okay. Well, that gets really warm down yeah, there though. Yeah. Here, you I'll put it put over it here. In the other bit, yeah. Give it to me, I'll put it over in the uh, darkened studio. Well here, that's, a, dark. that's a perfect way. And then, I'll, and then I'll bring them home and baby them. And then next week, we will have a chance to try these ciders. It's very easy, Eric. It's very easy indeed. All right, so what do we want to do? Do we want to try this? So we no, have, don't try this one first. We, try we the have, other thing okay, first. Okay, okay. Well, it's a little bit more gentle, right? Mm -hmm. This is going to be more extreme. So uh, Ghostly secured us something from Claim 52, Pacific Northwest Fresh 
It's a smoothie beer, which is a, a fascination of theirs, and is done really, really well here in town. But it's a smoothie sour IPA, which seems like a lot. It's a lot of work. That seems like a lot uh, going on there. Yeah. Um, now, that said, we also do have ginger all the way on tap uh, in this keg right here. Why not take a look? You're gonna like that smell, I think. The ginger all the way. You're, you're, gonna, you're gonna like the way you look? The color's nice. Woo! Woo! Mm, that's a cool combo. All right. So, uh, ginger all the way. Let's take a look at this recipe. We've got the receipts. Mine? What? Oh, it's because that glass. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like, why is it half gray? Oh. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> Well, because because you can't at, you can't actually camera. see into this room. Yeah, your whole vision the, is mediated. You're now like, what I the fuck, the Sam? <laughs> You're like trying to find the filter that it has applied. Hey, Tia, what's going on? It's good to see you back. All right. True horror. But now that we know that this is not a figment of our imagination, but is in fact uh, a beer, let's take a look at the recipe, Josh, and see. Yep. What we intended to make. This is Maris Otter with Victory Malt, which is going to be toasty and biscuity with some lactose, which is going to give, make it really milky. Um, and chocolate rye with Tet for the uh, hops. A classic hop. And some cinnamon. And get the, the milk sugar. I remember that. Put that in there. Yeah. All right. This smells very festive. Mm -hmm. right. I feel like this is, this is going to catapult us back into the Christmas times. I mean, that's got the silky... That's pretty fucking good. That's the lactose... Holy shit. Is, is that the... Is that the... Let's just take a second here. <laughs> hold, hold, boys. You gotta... That's a good one. Go get a couple cups. That's really fucking oh, good. Oh, no. Yeah, I was I was gonna intellectualize it there for a second. Th that's fucked up. That's really good. But that um, that texture that's part of what you're going for with like the milk sugar, right? Mm -hmm. It's the syrup. It's like a smooth syrupy texture. Wow. What are your flavor notes? What stands uh, out the most? God, dude, this is a festival beer for sure. Well, basically, like. One of, the, one of the specialties I think we've developed is making beers that are like baked goods. So this has got... It, it tastes like a baked pastry or something. Exactly. The, between like the, like the Maris <coughs> Otter, that's like a bready, sweet, and then Victory has a little more toast. Mm -hmm. So it has rich here. I'll, I'll pull for you. It has rich, um, hearty malt character alongside that... that um, milk sugar, which gives it a silky texture, and then the cinnamon, like the actual cinnamon stick just sits on top of the whole flavor profile, but it's not, it isn't unwelcome and it's not cloying. Here you go. Can you bring one of those back to Josh? Because that can be a huge problem. Any, anytime you're fucking around with additions, you can ruin the batch because you're, you're a smart person. Kerosene? <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I think that's the, um, I think that's when, hey, stay in your lane. Cookie Mom, obviously, we would never, I mean, we're, obviously, oh, we're, we're, we're ready for the, we're that's ready for the, good. it's, this is not homebrew good. <laughs> Scent-wise, it's almost got sort of the tiramisu thing going on, where it's a little like spice. baked good, but alcohol, you can smell the alcohol a little yeah, bit, like and baked goodness. Beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, the, the tiramisu angle, I think, is, is well put, but also tiramisu is very creamy and spicy. So that's the other, that's the other reason I think it's tripping that. Yeah, this is Oh, the, it's really the, sweet. You can yeah, yeah, the yeah. cinnamon 
but it's it's subtle. Oh no, this is very very good. Oh my god, I, sh I need to. I need to. Can you scroll down and tell me what the? <laughs> I'm worried now. Seven well, percent. Okay. This was a big hitter, but this was. Uh, I was worried this was going to be a little bit green, but it tastes great. No, no, I, I think it. I think it got to the end. I think it got to the end of the, 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 the progress. Yeah, tiramisu has its own. It has its own spicy. It isn't like hot. I don't mean like hot spicy. I mean the tiramisu has like an interesting blend of coffee tastes and and spices. Yeah, yeah, get it bottling now for Christmas this year. Dude, a long, like an aged version of this. Mm -hmm. Where, because I, it's, I mean, it's fresh. It's it's ready to go. I, I don't think there's anything, any work left to be done in no, the keg. fucking amazing. But I'm just saying, if you had that, like in a bomber, and you laid it up, and then came back to it, basically, it would just get to know itself better. All, all the things that you like about it would just be more refined. God, that would be... That that feels like a, I don't know, feels like an opportunity. What that bronze girl? What what, what do you want to know? What we want from Wendy's? Oh, from Wendy's? <laughs> like a really good mouth. Like a really like a large nitro. Diet Coke. <laughs> it well, almost tastes like it's been nitroed. Yeah, yeah, because of that silky texture. Yeah. Oh my gosh, dude, this would be fucked on nitro. That would be fucking dumb. Um, well, you listen. You know I like that. If, if if that's actually the question, a little chicky never did anybody any harm. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. This is good. You know what? Nuts. Yes. 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 I'll I'll, I'll rub back. And this is how it starts. Yep. Well, we're all gonna be bombed today. I can feel it a little bit. It's got. Is, I can feel the warmth. Yeah. This is really. It coats good. your soul. Like, and I'm not one who really likes kind of the darker stuff. This is very good. Uh, no. Yeah. Uh oh. Mute Jerry. He's got weird. Yeah. Well, I mean, he'll be there. What's going on. Okay. Is his mic still oh, live? Yeah. I didn't know what the hell he's doing. Get some more glasses. Yeah, Top, I don't need to talk after this one. This is just too good. He's also just feeling it. This is this is probably more than seven. Uh, I don't think so. I can feel Wouldn't it. Wouldn't hit that hard that quick. Hmm. Hmm. I guess I don't think so. Depends on what he ate, apparently. So we'll see what happens. I mean, it feels more like Wait, what the I'm feeling saying is I get a, when I drink wine. <laughs> like that alcoholiness. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, it's going to heal. It's going to heal every part. Both my physical and psychological. Well, no. What, what you're going to find is that the mind-body connection. Oh. You're level up. Right here. Now, what's, what's, the, what's the aroma situation? Here, over here, come here. <coughs> so, yeah. Don't worry. It's not spicy. Right, right here. here. No, no. Special guests. Special guests. Uh, Lydia Piper. Jen. Ooh, the cat's <laughs> Now, oh, yeah. I, 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 have a, I have a via senor in my close circle. Whenever I see those two L's, I'm like, you can't fucking trick me. <laughs> all right, here. Now, so let's let's get the hookup on here. Ginger all the way. Uh, taste one. Obviously, we're addressing it. Do you see how they're addressing the glass? Like swirl, see how <laughs> legs? Mm hmm. <laughs> That's very sweet. Yes, yeah. So it has lactose milk sugar in it that offers a silky mouthfeel texture alongside the spices and the, the grain character that we think come together really well. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I can see that. Here, so imagine, imagine a float. Ooh, a yeah, ice cream float. This would pair really well with ice cream. Yeah. I think it's quite good. This is why I had to harangue you. Um, Are we, we bottling this? Right? 
We'll talk to Dave <laughs> about it. Here, you're, you're, you're welcome to, to bring it okay. with you if you want to. Oh, but you, you can also that. come back and get more if you, you want. You no, no, I thought you might. I thought you okay. might. Because you. You, you might recall that uh, Lydia materialized on the program once when we made a brutal ghost pepper beer. A brutal ghost pepper ale that, I mean, for us. It took like two seconds to actually get the Yeah, device. you would take a drink. And I think, I think it has to do with the alcohol. Yeah. It, might, it might have acted as a natural like extractor. You would take a sip and you'd be like, that is good. And you're like, oh, it has kind of an interesting hot character. And you'd be like, fuck. And then, but and we're all like, shit, fuck, ah. And then Lydia's like, this is good. I think this is good. I think it's actually a good beer. Um, anyway, okay, I, 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 something happened. Mm. I think that Ghostly might have drunk it. You wicked demon. Yeah, he's I think a dick. Right over here. Yeah, in addition. I'm just gonna try. That I'm just. That, that's very good. This is this is actually a huge winner. Yeah. When you when you get, I'll, you know, the fact of the matter is is that, purely from a numerics perspective, this brewery. Makes hits, but when you get, Eric just looking at the table saying, "That's good. That's this is how you know." So I, I would I would hate to you know get into the sausage making portion, but when a brewer says. That's good. What they actually mean is that's one of the best I've had. <laughs> it's like it's like my it's like it's like when your dad is talking about something. It's like yeah, it's pretty good. And what he means is that it's he's more proud. He wishes that he could die so that he would never have to feel anything other than that pride again. <laughs> you right? But what it sounds like is you done good. And that's it. All right. What a huge winner. Mm. We do a milk sugar series, but holy shit, it just continues to kill yeah, Ghost. Like the, the the cinnamon really worked with it. Yeah, like, yeah, was, and again, it's worried, no, 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 and, and, and it's like when we talk about like nutmeg or cardamom or turmeric, like when you do pumpkin Chai shit. Chase, that would be so fucking easy. Are you serious? It would be so easy to get all the raw materials mm -hmm. for that. And honestly, I think you you probably make the. It's like when we were fantasizing about making that chocolate mint. Pilsner. The base for this chai stout is very, very simple. It, it's, it's, this is barely a beer recipe, right? Jasmine, it's just for something else. Jasmine listed their curve, her choice. Well, Jasmine should be going to Wendy's right now because I could really use Diet Coke. Yeah, we need, he needs, he needs that, that D to the C. Gah. Love you. <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. No, the. I don't know how to do it. No, anymore. no, I'm saying it was, it's because you don't have any 13 year old girls yeah, in your no, house. So you got to do the yes. finger and the thumb. Right. Oh, no, no. That's not how they're doing it anymore. Well, yes, they there's are. There's a new way to do it? What's no, that? no. This is how they do it now. That's just dumb. That's old. I'm not saying that this That's is. not new. I'm not saying anything. I'm saying that this is how they do it. This? They absolutely no, don't do they, this. No. They do this. Trust me on this. They, they do, do neither this. of those. And unfortunately, <laughs> here, here. Can you get the camera in? Bring it up on here. This Index is the this thumb. is the other one they that's do. That's the heart. I'm just yes, going that's the one. Wait, what's the other that's one? That's the only one. I can't do this anymore. I the, oh yeah, I can. Look. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is the other classic one that today's youth are constantly leveraging. Took me a minute to figure that one out. Uh, I was like, I guess I don't 100% know what you're doing, but then I saw like a K-pop star do it, and I was like, I felt a stirring in my belly, and I was like, oh okay. Oh, okay. All right, this is what we're talking about. Anyway, that's the one. Now, so now we have, I mean, I, I think that we did the arc correctly. God only knows what a sour IPA smoothie beer would have done to our like subtle spice rich ale. Well, or what's it gonna do now? Now it's gonna Oh yeah, turn. now now it's gonna go crazy is what's yeah. gonna happen. Yeah. Look at that. Look at what Jasmine's doing. This is fucking stupid. That's that's really good. Jesus Christ! All right, yeah. I I mean I don't even know I don't even know what to do with that. Like that's just out of control. All right, so I guess I liked it. Really could be like a yeah, right. <laughs> even Mike would like that. Kara oh, would yeah, love Mike it. Would love that. Right? Kara would be would be obsessed with it. Eugene, Oregon. Okay, I'm not familiar with Claim Fifty Two. But Oregon does have a lot of good small breweries. Let's see how we do. 
heavily fruited. Oh yeah, of course, right? Refermentation can occur if not kept cold because it has real fruit. real matter in it. Rouse, oh here, rouse fruit from bottom of can. So they mean. Yeah, roll it. Yeah, shake it real hard. No, we won't do that. As hard as you can. <laughs> yes, listen, I know about beer. Oh, hey, chef. You oh, absolutely. Here, here, you... here. Now, Chef Justice, this will only take a second. Now, Josh, if you could throw the recipe back up. So, just for those of you who may be materializing um, via the webway, um, here's what we're talking about here. This is the, the basic stuff here. So, uh, Maris Otter is bready rich, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Victory Malt has, has a little bit more of a toast character. Yep. Right? Milk sugar, very, very fine powder. Um, it offers a fermentable, of course, uh, for the yeast, but it also um, offers a really nice... No, no, it's a non-fermentable. Hold on. This is lactose, but the yeast won't eat it? Yeah. What, are the, what is the first word on that sentence right there? Let's see. Milk sugar. Oh. Not fermentable. <laughs> <coughs> oh. So... I always thought that that was part of the... No. Okay, so no wonder so much of the sweetness carries forward. Yeah, it's all sweetness. Oh, so these things, they are adept at chewing up another type of sugar, mm -hmm. but it's not lactobacillus, mm -hmm. so it can't actually eat this sugar. Yep. So it just hangs out like a... It's just a, it's a material, right? Yep. Um, chocolate rye malt, I'm not going to insult you, Chef Justice, um, by telling you what the flavor notes on that are. Um, Tet... Is a is one of the noble hops. It's a classic German ale hop. Um, we've had very very good experiences with it, but we like its earthy spicy character most. And then American ale, soft smooth clean finish as you see here. The American ale too has more of a fruity character, um, but this is. There you go. But the, I, I learned from the best. But I'm saying that basically, that's going to provide us more of a clean character. So we choose two when we want to play around. Um, Chat wise, we go with this when we really like everything else we have, and we just want to go second start of the right on till morning, right? So that's ginger all the way. Now, the only thing that is not mentioned there, I think, is cinnamon. Yes, is that there is a cinnamon, there are indeed three cinnamon sticks added to the fermenter. For the second fermentation. Second fermentation, just to, you know, ingratiate themselves with the rest of the materials. Okay. Put it in the paint shaker. <laughs> yeah, we'll hit with both. Oh my goodness. Smell good. Or... Oh, it smells amazing. Oh no. Oh what? A... This is the thing. These smoothie beers have the most fucked up color palettes. Jesus, that looks chunky. Like tomato soup. I it... saw stuff rolling around in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember, we had to we had to get the fruit. This is how you know. It's when you see the it's when you see the carbonation trying to fight its way through the mm -hmm. fucking fluid, right? Look at this fucking I V8 mean, looking you shit. You probably could have shaken the shit out of it and probably would have been fine because it's so thick. No, I, I think that you're Ooh, you're probably not wrong. What a fucking aroma, right? Jesus. I don't think I've ever seen a sour IP. No, it's quite it's quite rare. Great Notion has some, but wow, that's fucking great. Holy shit. Oh no. They're not making beer. No. And we and and not I think I, and I think this is okay. It's like <clears throat> let's let's just go down all the lists. Let's just get all of our most our hottest takes out. If you only watch uh, live play role playing, are you a member of the community? Discuss. No, that's a joke. <laughs> that's a joke. I'm not trying to make it. No, it's a joke. But what I'm saying is that we have been to Great Notion and we've seen this form come online. We have seen a form of beer. Go ahead and focus in on that. This is new. This is a fairly new. It's type of beer. it's a joke, Talp. Um, it is absolutely a new type of beer. And you were like you were at the head end, like you knew from the jump. But I'm saying, so this is a new type of beer that leaves a trail of slime mm. up <laughs> up the side of the glass. So thick and rich is it? You, you see the slime? You could shower in front of that and be fine. No yeah, yeah see. no, no way. Listen, nobody would, nobody would know what you. That's would... filthy, Jerry. God. <laughs> no one would know what you were doing back there, gauzed as you were behind this slurry. Right. <clears throat> Bronze, it's not funny. <laughs> it's not. 
<laughs> As my friend Bronze would say, that's not cute. Um, but no, but we do not know, and not even like to be a dick, we're not sure if it's a beer. We, we, we think I would that, say it's not really. No. We think that there has it's to be. Got it's fermented. Beer in it, maybe. It's fermented. Like I, I'm, I'm saying that, and you're fermenting it with these classic yeasts. I mean, like, I, I understand all that, but we're and, and it wouldn't be bad. We're not trying to get gatekeep beer and yeah. say, but we think that it might actually be something new. And when you go to a place like if you're in town, like obviously if you're up for west, and you're spending all of your time downtown, you're fucking up. You're fucking up bad. If you're if you're it is a 10 minute ride to Ballard. If you want to see where, if you want to see where the next great breweries are being born, it's a four block area. <laughs> and one of them is Great Notion. And this is exactly what they do, is they make these, they make these smoothie beers. They're, they are absolutely amazing. It's a malt smoothie. Yeah, I, I mean, and, and again, I'm, I'm, not trying, I'm not trying to say if it's good or bad, uh, I'm just saying, I, we think that it may be a new form of matter, functionally speaking, and we, we need, we need some new language. Like sour IPA doesn't even begin. It's it's kind of them to do that. Wait, let's let's try. I mean, the the truth is that the, the IPA, like the bittering that you get from hops, part of that sort of requires that it be more liquid so that it hits and spreads in the mouth. Like this is a much more concentrated, like the flavor profile is incredible. I just you don't know if it's beer. It's more sour or more IPA? Um, I gotta be honest with you. The sour aspect to me, because it's located inside of a bunch of fruit, it just feels like a tangy taste. And so then the rest of the IPA bitterness, it all feels like it's part of the same thing. Like, because it's suspended in something different, it recontextualizes all the rest of the materials. Um, it's crazy. Where this was gonna be just no, dude. Just this like is <clears throat> no here. But but also here. I'm gonna pour. You're good, right? Mm -hmm. Here, I'm gonna pour some of this in here so that I can drink it, <laughs> and then I'm gonna give you that, and I need you to give that to Josh because I think do that a triple hop version. Then you'll get near. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you had to crank it, but I mean, I think that it needs. I think that it needs a very, very different level of grain content, honestly. Yeah, it needs more ginger beaver pee. Exactly. Ooh, it smells interesting. Don't wow. it just? Oh, yeah, that a cool smell. Yeah, that has it has a weird like tail that's like kind of the IPA -y little. Look, that's I, real good. No, I, I, I'm saying I think that I think we are looking at the birth of a new type of drink. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, but it I think could... the sour is wrong. It's way too. Yeah, yeah, but I think sweet to be I think sour. that I think that they did. I think that we're talking when we say sour, we're talking about a mode and a means of fermentation, yeah, and I, I think know. that that is what happened to this in terms of flavor profile. It just means something different in this. So, yeah, yeah I, no, I think I think that good. I think we're seeing something it new. It tastes like sour candy. Yes, it just, just tastes up. like candy. Like the even the little bit of bitterness from the IPA is just that little bit. Burn in your mouth you get from the ultra sourness. Like it's just the sour candy. Yeah. 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 Like at the very end, you can taste some of the weird kind of like not like dryness almost with IPAs. You know, but, kind of no, no. It, it's astringent. Yeah. Yeah. That's 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 a very weird good beer. Or something. Um, I, I genuinely think that, and it could be that it's quite old. I mean, my suspicion is that fermented like fermented drinks made with like fresh like fresh raw fruit. Yeah. I think that goes back a ways. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> and I think that practicalities, industrial inputs. Right. I think that beer beer has has succeeded for a reason. That's all wine is. It's it, exactly, it's but filtered. but I I think depending on where you go in the world, there's going to yeah. be things like this, right? I think Mike would flip his shit over this. He he this wouldn't is even what he wanted with a candy beer. It wouldn't exactly like he wouldn't be able to parse it. It it wouldn't parse as a beer at all to him, right? Maybe you get him some of those. Uh, that's un that's real good. <laughs> wow, what a what a day. What a banner day. Now, Josh, do you have access to the camera that gazes uh, upon the sacred crucible? Because <clears throat> my guess is that that's starting to get pretty dark. I don't think it's pumped out yet. 
No. Uh, so that's claim 52, Crimson. I, I, I'm not familiar with it. That's my watch. This is the... Yeah. This is the... This is the I this is, to show it off, you know? Yeah, this is our pensive Eric cam. Yeah, yeah. Claim 52 uh, out of Eugene, Oregon. Okay, yeah, so I think it did, it did pump out, but you can see, like, how dark, because it doesn't look quite like that at the beginning. And now, um, as it's extracting all of these goodies, and of course, in Jasmine's service, like, the purpose of this beer is to make a chocolate orange ale. And my strong suspicion is that we have done so. All right. Now, the, are the poll.ma.pe gods alive and present? They are. Oh, yeah, Cookie Mom, our Pico, I mean, every now and then we have to kick the side of it, right? I mean, and we have, to, know, we have to do some witchcraft. Not very old. Up here, right? No, no, but it is absolutely... Continue. I mean, it just made one of the best beers that we've ever had on the show. Mm -hmm. Like, it's it's still fucking, it's still working. It's still brewing beer inside corny kegs repurposed from bars. <laughs> it's still doing its thing. All right. It, uh, I mean, and we use the hell out of that. Like, we're not, we don't make one no, beer every no, six no. months. No, no, no. And that's, that's, I think that's a really important thing to mention is that we are probably at the ragged edge of what they would have considered their use case. I don't mm -hmm. think they were thinking that individuals would be brewing on a weekly God, basis. I, I just don't see it, right? That would be surprising indeed. It thinks that we still have a show. Listen, this show is more than this device. Um, there are other devices for sure. But one of the things, like when you look at these newer devices, and I think some of them are quite good, where they include the cooling, right? They do all the, all the creature comforts that mm -hmm. we like. None of them do this volume. Oh, yeah. I true. think the innovation of the Pico brew is that the brew keg is independent of the machine. Mm -hmm. The rest of these want to be turnkey, oh. right? The rest of them want, they want to be like a true beer appliance. But because these like ex Microsoft weirdos. You, you don't have like two glasses? Or no, we are talking about sophisticated, hundred and hundred, like, like multi hundreds of dollars worth of an individual device that makes 1.5 gallons. Like, I just don't see the point, I guess. Like, I don't, <laughs> I don't see the point of that. And, and the other thing is that they all really, really want, and ultimately, you know, Pico Brew went this way too. They all wanna, they all wanna be a subscription. Oh, yeah, they all want to. That's stupid. They all want to sell you these custom packs, and for and a certain, you're not fucking <clears throat> brewing yourself really at that point. No, exactly. You guys just like, go buy a beer then. What I like about the device is that we really do have end-to-end -end control, yeah. and that is an option. Certainly, because they had, a, I think it was called the Pico Brew Z. Yeah. It was a, a much smaller. Yeah, it was a much smaller device, and you could basically like it was completely turnkey. You just put the thing into the yeah. crucible. Like, I understand the idea. Oh, but... you're talking about the C. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 the smaller yeah. one. People this is have the Z here. packed those now, though, to where you can do all this stuff. Well, no, of course they have. Of course, of course yeah, they that, have. That, I mean, I, no you know, we met the people that, that ran that when it was there. These are absolute dorks. I promise you, they didn't have to work very hard to break that. I just don't think so. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, yeah, John, Blee, we're, that's, that's literally what we're talking about. We're talking about using a QR code or whatever on a little camera, so now they have to build a camera into the thing, and then at the end of it, you make a gallon and a half. It's like, brewing is not... Not that hard. Drinking is part of brewing, but an even bigger part of brewing is sharing it with other people, right? We've already done it. Like, every person I've been able to find in this fucking <laughs> office, like, <clears throat> when something hits, you want to have that, that backlog. Bottle day, is a part of the is a part of the ritual, right? <clears throat> so, one and a half gallons ain't gonna cut it. Yeah, and I'm trying to think about like try, trying to think about fucking SCA, like trying to roll out there with a bunch of one and a half gallons. People, we wouldn't have had any beer for the whole weekend 
if we were coming out there with one and a half gallon batches, it would have been gone before glass. the first night. Hey, it's one horn. Yeah. The, some motherfucker's gonna come over there with a yak horn. <laughs> it's gonna curve twice. But that's actually what it was. They would come up with that fucking thing. And, and we filled it. I mean, we filled it. This is the only thing that I'll say about. Yeah, I know. This is the only thing that I'll say about um, the Peaker Bruzee is that there is, there obviously, are there bugs? Yes. Occasionally, you will pour a glass of beer and it will vanish. It evaporates. And that's not, I don't know what it is. I don't know why it's doing that. But luckily, the solution is very straightforward. You just, all you do is you, you address the tap, like so. Just pull and release. There you go. Ghostly, it's that easy. I mean, that's, easy. that's the whole process, basically. <sighs> Glorious. Now, uh, so, I mean, again, like after that, after that ginger success, and my guess is that, is that black is the new orange. If you can take a look in the sacred crucible, mm -hmm. look even now how the wart grows. <clears throat> Look how the work grows and builds in its power. It's already extracting the rich sugars um, that, of course, our tiny friends will convert into alcohol. Now, um, but, you know, let's put another recipe in the docket and we can use all of the technology we've just described, um, you know, to make, to, to, you know, drop another winner in the slot. It's going to be good. Oh yeah, Rex Verity. I don't want a subscription to my oven. Yeah, well, fuck you. <laughs> That's not how it works now. Sorry. Yeah, it <laughs> no, no. It's a. Uh, it's uh, cooking is a service. <laughs> All right, here. So themes. What are we thinking? I actually am surprised none of those like Ingredient. cooking services have an oven with a built-in, you know. Oh wow! God, that you're right. Really well. <sighs> you're right. You, you put the recipe in there, in there it sets it to the right temp. No, this is too good. This is actually, all this means is that you're a bad person. <laughs> or smart. That'd be great somewhere like New York where you have like a shoebox to live in. Yeah. Here, so, uh, Kenji, yeah, we'll put Kenji back in the mix. Kenji, obviously, the factory fresh paint job being getting dinged pretty hard in this game. Hey, I got one for you. Breakfast cereal mascots. That way we can do the lactose Ooh. sugar in different variations. I mean, like breakfast cereal is a somewhat common beer. That's been absolutely yes, but not by us. Not by us. Uh, we and got different breakfast cereals. Is the no one. exactly. So so if we hit breakfast cereal mascots, I mean they're all winners. But if we hit that, then we got to go right into like Count Chocula, yep, Booberry, <laughs> Tony the Tiger, yeah. Ooh. Captain Crunch. Uh, Bunsy, I don't know if we have done, because I think that Eric was actually waiting for a new video card to jump into BG3 proper. You know, I'm just kind of bored already. You're just done? I feel like I've heard everybody's fucking story oh, nine yeah, dude, million after a year, times. Dude, after a fucking year. I just don't care anymore. You, you've played it. It isn't yeah. even that you don't play it. It's that you're done and satisfied. Yeah, I don't need a fucking owl. I don't need to, you know, do whatever. <laughs> you don't need fucking any bears. Yeah. You're fine. Oh, Talp, do you not have these precious cereals? Did you not know about these beasts? Oh, yeah, dude, Crunchberry would be fucking oh, sick. Be weird. <laughs> we could kill that. Here, no, Talp, is it the same cereals, but they've given you different <coughs> cryptids? Like, like, do you have, like, a version of Count Chocula, but he's, like, Lord Chocula <laughs> or something? Well, it would be a different Chocula. company, wouldn't it? Yeah. General Mills over there would be whatever their standard is. Exactly. So Tony the Tiger. I mean, Tony no, the Tiger. No, there are still <clears throat> counts. It would still be Count Chocula. Yeah, I guess that's true. Or, At some or, level. Or Viscount Duke, Chocula. Duke, Duke Chocula. <laughs> Viscount Chocula, probably. Now we're talking. Yeah. A monkey for Cocoa Puffs. Yeah, there's a monkey. 
Oh, yeah. I mean, I can see sugar snaps. Yeah, honey monster. Yeah, I'm familiar with the honey monster. Um, that's one of the things I was really surprised at is Australia and then over in Scotland as well, they have something called honeycomb that is not honeycomb. It's mm. a, it's not that. It's something else. It's just like a type of candy, but it's got nothing to do with honeycomb. I, I, I was under the impression that honeycomb was a, a thing, like from bees. Yeah. No. <clears throat> All right. Now, so we have Tony the Tiger as one of them. Crunch Adam berries. Crunch. Yeah. Yeah. Crunch berries is just like. And the best, it's like, no, man, I don't, I don't know. I'm getting kind of cranked up. Toucan Sam. Fruit Loops. Oh, yeah, Fruit Loops. Frosted Flakes would be just, just sweet. Yeah, exactly. The no, Toucan, no, toucan like Sam, yeah, yeah, Toucan Sam is, well, it's basically going to be a, like a classic traditional beer, but we're going to be messing around with lactose in there and, and putting a spin on even a traditional style. Yeah, you'll have the grain, but with strong lactose. Mm-hmm. We can make it with corn. There's 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 part there's there's corn parts in the in the grain in the in the grain thing. Corn parts? Crushed corn. Oh yeah, yeah, it's flaked. Flaked. All right. Yeah, I those all sort of look like winners to me. So here's a few great choices. Now, and as we discuss it. Gaze ye into the crucible. Already, night, cloaked night, um, has descended upon the device. And it looks more evil than I expected. Um, but it is, it is a stout, after all, at 40 SRM. So it is pitch black. <clears throat> It might have been, but, but it, it's similar to IBU. Um, there's a threshold beyond which you can do whatever you want to, but our tongues aren't designed to uh, identify it. Like, it's just, it's beyond what we can taste. And it's, it's the same with SRM, right? Yeah. Talp does not know these flavors. Oh, Talp, nothing would bring me more pleasure. Now, Tony the Tiger um, is the, the avatar of the frosted flake, and there's nothing sophisticated about it at all. It is a very, very sugar-coated flake of corn. Um, that's very straightforward. Crunch berries are a offshoot of Captain Crunch, so, and they're also you know anthropomorphized to a certain extent. Like many creatures in the '80s and '90s, we were. These organisms were, co were utterly complicit in their own annihilation. They longed to be devoured. First and foremost, we were just into that then. Big Vore era uh, back then. Yeah, Frosties. There you go. Um, so, but essentially, it's like a sweeter, uh, fruitier variant of the Captain Crunch, which is just really solid corn. Yeah, sweetened corn. Yeah, sweetened corn, crunchy. It's very good. Now... Uh, Toucan Sam, fr uh, Fruit Loops. Um, it's a it's a loop. I mean, basically, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, count Chocula, don't don't fuck with me, man. I mean, you you know what's going on with this count. Yeah, it's like berries. <clears throat> well, here, listen, Copper Pot. Here's the fact. I mean, I, I think that what Josh has suggested is that we start to execute a series of. You want uh, to do more lactose? You, you want to so, mess yeah. around with it? Like a, after this success, I'd love to see what else happens. I had no idea they couldn't eat the fucking lactose sugar. I didn't either. I thought it basically was way to kick up the uh, the ABV. Yeah, and I thought the the silky texture was just sort of like a mm -hmm. a benefit on the side. No, they they don't know how to eat it. It's it's there's a deep irony there. Wow, that's a divided pole. I know. This is one of the hardest core. This is this is a knife fight, as God, they say. This is a, a four-way split. Yeah, they're killing each other out there. Josh, you can't be tipping the scales on this one, you ass. Okay, no, listen, I we needed him to. They, they, they wouldn't have fucking done it on this one. Mm. Crunch berries, and also, that's the one I wanted. So, yeah, mm -hmm. I think that's the one most people really wanted. Yeah, now. It's the oddest one out of the bunch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let me get up my... Uh, note app. 
and click on that. X all these out. Right, so now that we have uh, addressed a theme, crunch berries. As acquisitions intoxicated, it's brewmaster. What are three styles that we can use to contain this? No, there's only going to be two styles. There's this gonna flavor be beast. Pale ale or amber ale. Okay. Why pale or amber? Very have you modified. ever had fucking cereal? They're very modified. Yeah. It's crunch the same. Berry, crunch berries are pale and amber, and bready. <laughs> eh. I know. They're sweet and corn and oat. Yeah. I always thought they had exactly. a peanut buttery flavor, actually. Yeah. Well, no, there they, is. They, they there made is. a peanut butter one. Oh, that's what it was. It's a yeah. variant. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, right. And it's so weird. No, and the bag is even different. Yeah. In, inside, it's actually like a moisture sealed aluminum bag for the peanut butter ones. I don't know what happens if it doesn't have that. But no, pale ale, basically, what Eric is saying is that these are just industrial inputs. Here's our two styles, right? All right, style. Style, also an incredible song by Taylor Swift. I don't know if you're familiar with uh, Ms. Swift, but um, mm -hmm. she's made quite a name for herself. Yeah. I feel like she's gonna do. I feel like she's gonna do okay. I think she plays football now. Oh, I'm only following the hashtags. I haven't really watched it. Good for her. Yeah, I mean that's surprising. She's breaking barriers. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So amber ale it is. Is that is that what is that what I'm hearing? All amber all the time. Goes oh. like let Jasmine. Oh, it's her boyfriend. Okay, I didn't know that. What? what oh, I didn't. I don't know. About? I don't know Taylor Swift's boyfriend was playing football. I, oh yeah. I was under the impression that she had begun to play football for the Chiefs. Yeah, sure. I, quite I saw possibly. some. She, I saw some hashtags. It's the best branding they've had in decades. Every now and then, I'll see a GIF of her up in the window saying, "Let's fucking go!" And I'm like, you know what? You're all right, Taylor. I mean, she could play for the team, and they'd be fine. They just throw it to the same two people, anyways. Or yeah. Whatever. I mean, it's a it's a huge it's a huge time saver for them. Oh, yeah, yes, yes, indeed. Uh, uh, Travis's brother's shirt was off. Yeah. There was a. He was just hopping around up there, like by the fucking there was uh, a, cage. Yeah, it was there amazing. Was a, there was a meme that was like, this is the best Renaissance painting ever <laughs> painted. <laughs> the hat, just chimpa chimp. And he's a fucking golem. I mean, he's a beast. Oh, Taup. No, 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 no. I, when I found out that you have relegation, relegation, I was shocked. It means you go down to a different league, a lower league, if you are in the bottom two positions. What? That's you get weird. kicked out of the. F Yo, no, dude, it's a fucking reality show. You get kicked out of the fucking league, and you have to come back up. Like so, when you win, it's your ascension. That that's how soccer works. Yes. Mm -hmm. I didn't football. Not, know not that. in America. Only in every other yeah. part of the fucking yeah. world. You know, the other soccer. No, but but, but Josh, think about the drama. Because like, because uh, when you play, w Julian played soccer, and yeah. they had separate just levels, and you didn't drop levels. That doesn't. It doesn't happen in American soccer. It's only yeah. the rest yeah, of the yeah, fucking yes. world. No, no. But I'm, I'm saying that when I learned that that's how it works. The stakes, like, because they're like, man, it seems like they sure like soccer. And it's like, well, that's part of it. It's that they're fighting for their fucking lives every time they get on the pitch. It's insane. No, it's so it's so powerful. And also the regional aspects of it. I mean, you, you went and saw. I mean, didn't you say that, like, inside the stadium, it's separated, like, specifically and explicitly by team? Yeah, I mean, they do that here, but it's it's a little bit more... Um, necessary? Necessary there. <laughs> There's an, an away team and then the rest of the... That gets usually 3,000 seats and then seven, the other 67,000 seats go to the fans of the of the team. Yes, exactly right. And, and I think that this is, this is why, you know, for Kiko, this is why it's a really, really big part. It maintains the... It maintained, there's a narrative arc for every team, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, Amber Ale. 
Okay, so do we want to use pale malt, which is going to be crisp and clean? Or do we want to use Copeland, which is going to be a little sweeter? Oh, sorry, let's do our other numbers. Well, fuck it. I don't care. Uh, uh, well, we, we can get this one out of the way. Mm -hmm. uh, pale malt or Copeland. And, and given that we're making a cereal beer, there may be something to be said here. And then we'll come back and grab the rest of those guardrails. But yes, pale malt, obviously, that's most beers. No matter what it is, pale malt it often makes the, the nut of it, right? And then uh, the Copeland is, a, a, I mean, it's a Washington grain, right? Yeah, it, it's a, a, a sweeter, richer version of that same grain. Copper pot, milk sugar, cereal beer. I mean, th uh, I think that's what sold the whole project. It's a huge winner. Can we put any uh, the flaked corn in it? Or? You certainly could. I mean, uh, it, it's flaked corn, as I understand it, is mostly about texture. Okay. Similar to, fla similar yeah, to flaked oats. Yeah, it doesn't oats. do anything for flavor. Okay. Yeah, it, it's mostly about mouthfeel. There isn't a lot. It's mostly starch. Okay. It's just mush. No, look, can everybody see this? They don't want anything. They don't want any regular levels of sweetness. They only want the maximum sweetness. Copeland it is, all right, now what's next? So ABV, do we want our ABV to be between four and a half and five, no, let's say six, typically. Yeah. Now, I'll be honest with you, this, this is like if uh, is, is, I'm is glad cereal, you have an answer. Is the cereal just poured, or has the cereal been like soggy, sinking in the milk and soggy? Yeah, is it thickened? Has it absorbed the alcohol? Yes. So. Yeah, or, or is this a breakfast beer? Mm. Are we looking for a four percent just to kind of you know get moving? Could be. Could be. Yes. Or has it become a wicked sludge? Could be, also That's possible. That's not right. I mean, I. The, the milk you drink after this. Yeah. Oh, now we're talking. It's already in there, though. As a vibe, I think that's really interesting. Hang on a second. I feel like I should save the glasses for Jasmine. Fuck off. <laughs> what do you think about that? That's no, fair. no. All right. No, here, no, ghost. Don't, 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 don't allow that to reach all the way into your heart. Uh, my suspicion is that inside that, that tank. This, this is why we like the the Z, right? Uh, there's, there's more glasses in there for Jasmine. She'll be okay. I definitely want her to be able to try it. Um, yeah, let's get that four. I think Jas, I think Jasmine is making friends with uh, Jen and Lydia down the hall. Actually, okay. The color is going to be t be between eight, uh, eleven, and eighteen. So, very amberish to a little bit ready color. All right. Well, that's, that's, that's an easy one. So, 11 to what? 18. Mm-hmm. I mean, I feel I feel confident here. Again, we're, we're talking about the milk in the bowl. Where are we at, right? What's the color? I mean, we're talking about eighteen, and everybody's going to have to vote eighteen because it's eighteen. Because <laughs> always, always on your on your grind, always on your prowl. Now, is ja is Jasmine out there? Mm -hmm. She is, I believe, out front. She has the food. She's like the good. Well, if you, I mean, I, I think that he needs Diet Coke, but she should, but uh, she should come and try this right away. Yeah, there's no there's no mere thumb upon the scale, sir. Here, Nanigman, I love that you know the classic techniques. Mm -hmm. Well, they're saying 18, like the old, oh yeah, the um, dinosaur races. That was a wild era, where uh, Viari was using 
off-label herbal remedies to drive dinosaurs into incredible feats. I, I think that's never happened in another Dungeons & Dragons game. I don't think anyone has tried to put a ginger root inside of a dinosaur's ass. I think it's rare. Quite rare. It might have happened one other time, tops. Mm. But I think it was still Pat. Yeah. I, I think that we, we should go and look at all the games Pat has been in. It's just like, wow, he keeps putting shit, shit in dinosaurs' assholes. assholes yeah. He needs to fucking dial it in. Imagine and he just expands, not just dinosaurs anymore. Yeah, now he's putting he's putting shit in, in all kinds of asses. Here's your fucking diet coke. Fuck yeah. Bitch. Here, here. Not no. big enough. I want to like extra large. I don't even know about pop. Here. Tasty goods. Tasty goods. That's for them too. Wait, no, that one's mine. That, that one's yours. Tasty goods. goods. Here. No, Jasmine. Are you gonna drink all this beer without me? No, of course not. This, this is why I wanted you to come back. I can drink this Diet Coke without you. No. I've got great news for you. Are you ready? You have materialized mm. on this stage, the Acquisitions Intoxicated Stage. Mm -hmm. On a day where we have... A good beer. I think we have delivered something for the ages. This now, top 10, I think. it's... It's up there. And so this, I, I, if you were, you know, reclined, perhaps if you were just relaxing out front, I apologize. But no. the only reason I summoned you was so that we could inflict this beer on you. And I would love to, <laughs> I would love to get you one if that's possible. You're so that's happy possible. right oh, now. Happy. Yep. You're so happy Name right my now. He love a Diet Name Coke, my though. He love a Diet Coke. He's so happy right now. He had his good beer, now he has his Diet Coke. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. See, I can't, I can't drink. Oh, well there you go, there's your extra large. There's a second one Fuck for you. Fuck yeah. <laughs> oh, is this Diet Coke too? Yeah. You think I need? I just got think... two, I try to treat you, you equally. You think I need to be? I have a favorite, but I don't want you to figure out you, who it is, so. You, you're looking at this and you're saying, Maybe it's Diet time. Sure. I don't. And? If you wanna, listen, hit dog will holler, bitch. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. You know, if you want to take it that way. You know what? You are fat. <laughs> Fucking shut up. Suck that Diet Coke down, bitch. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm not going to bring you a regular Coke. You'll fucking die on stage. <laughs> All right, listen. Now, my instinct is to obviously punish you for your wickedness. What I'm going to do instead is pull you a beer. Yeah. That we have made. I want to try it. Enjoy. Here, no, does Jasmine coke. need a belt? Uh, I don't believe so. Right, Josh? Anyway. Uh, it depends on how long Jasmine's planning to hang out. Probably about another 20 minutes. Oh. That's past time. <laughs> you mean 14? 18 minutes? <laughs> 14 minutes. Get yeah. your clock over here right then. I don't care about that clock. That's your problem. <laughs> wow. Clocks aren't real. Here, now. No, obviously, yeah, get your snoot mm -hmm. right over in the top. What are we thinking? It smells like the kinds of beers I drink, but... Really? Well, because you like you like a, a dark beer that's got a lot going on. Oh, there. you want me to put this on? Well, if it, I, I think that you might have things to say yeah. for the people that they may savor and be nourished by. Yeah, so, like drink I another mean, Diet Coke, fatty. Into your neck. <laughs> you know? Drink another Diet Coke, Fatty. I definitely didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> it's really funny. Like I don't. I like that you can say whatever I said, and people would just like believe. Yeah, and they're like, yeah, that sounds like Jasmine. Like, yeah, honestly, that sounds honestly, like bronze. That sounds like vitamin J. So, um, so you got this. Now, so you, obviously the snoot has been activated. It smells like, hey, a lot like the there. beers I drink, but there's something else. So, I'm trying so, to nail it. So, it smells. So, so, um, oh, 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 so Jasmine. I have I have a treat for you. Now, Josh, please activate the camera that looks at the crucible. Now, Jasmine, I want you to gaze into this Whoa. dark place. That is black is the new orange. I can't listen to this. No. I'm saying that that worked. I'm saying that, that is that is black is the new orange, which is our Hannah beer that we have made for oh. you that is gonna combine a chocolatey rich sweet stout with orange carrot. Orange character. 
I just discovered chocolate oranges. As this is I very said, on brand as for me. I said on the channel. Oh my so God. all I'm saying is that this is what it looks like now, but of course there's you mm -hmm. know multiple stages. But you can already see that. I mean, I hope that the uh, midnight mm -hmm. darkness mm -hmm. uh, pleasing. meets with your it approval. Is. Yeah, um, it is. But now, black I mean, coffee, black beer. This is it now. So, I mean, take a look. This is called uh, Ginger All the Way. It is our holiday dark ale. Take a look. This is what I'm fucking talking about, dude. Pretty good, right? I, I keep, don't know. I'm I like pushing it. this shit on everybody I can, I can put in front of. I went and got Lydia and Jen to drink in the middle of the day. I went and got them, and they brought glasses back with them. My only complaint is it doesn't taste like alcohol. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, no. Unfortunately, it's seven percent. We our specialty is making things that you would not be able to guess, just because there's so many interesting things going on, and that obviously that has to do with the chat. Are lab. you Belgian? <sighs> this is like some Belgian I'm shit. I'm a mess, mm. honestly. You know, like in terms of heritage, just. Well, no, that's what they do. You'll go there, you'll get like an innocuous little pint with like a goblin on it. Oh, that comes, yeah. It comes in the glass and for sure. you, you drink like four of them. Mm. Yeah, and you drink like four and you roll of them. A bank. And then you stand up and you're like <laughs> Jewel Heist. Yeah. And there and then you go in the menu and you look and it's like twelve percent and you're like Yeah, no, well, they specialize. Real. This is that yeah. yeah, dude, this is that Abby shit, man. That's happened that, to this me. This is that double, that's triple a, fermented like, that's, Abby shit. That story sounds real. It's a real story that happened to me. I got abs I got accidentally fucking wasted. Yeah. Wasted in off Belgium. Off of like 10% beers because it doesn't taste, and it'll have like something random on it. Like, oh, yeah. here's, a, here's a gremlin. Yeah, yeah, here's yeah. a cat. It's like, yeah. oh, I love cats. And then you drink then it and you're fucked. You're just, you're fucked. You're shit faced. Yeah. Your mom texts, you don't even know who it is. This is how Baldur's Gate 3 is the way it is. That's why I was there. And I had to show up to the Baldur's Gate 3 panel. Oh, like, shitty. Mm. Uh, are you looking there and you're like, I think I saw someone fuck a bear, but I don't know. Yeah. Like, maybe they did. I think that I think everybody was like that, and that's why we were like, "Make him fuck the bear at the panel," because it was, we were all on the Trappist beer. This is Trappist beer coated. No, it is it's a though. trap. A big part of it. <laughs> this is beer from the trap. Um, it's very. Your very... mom texts you. Start hitting on her. Are y'all good back there? Wow, Josh, what the fuck? Shorash. No. That level of drunk, you know? No. Uh, I never hit never that level. Never been that level of drunk. Yeah, never hit that level of drunk. You got to go there. I've it's hit it once. Your lighting on this show is fantastic. I've actually hit it once. This is, I look amazing. This is a great lighting yeah. on this show. No, no, no. Wow. I'm, I'm telling you, and it's going to be the same for your crab yeah. uh, as yeah, Black Remnant crab. returns. It's going to be the same for your crab. Somebody said, so, I only drink beer as dark as my hair, and I... Didn't realize it. that, but now I'm into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, because and, and you have a hard time avoiding it, right? I mean, you were trying to paint a mech, and you were like, "I have this under control." And then, and then this I, is. I'm your this, friend. You're gonna let this him. This is do the it. message that I got and in his, Discord. That's his, our DMs. You don't leak our DMs, Jerry. It said. And his message was like, "Go oh use snake bite leather. They're the fucking yeah, the yeah, only yeah. thing he knows how to do in painting." Yeah, and uh, I listen. I I specialize in it. But like, then, oh, you gotta paint a red cape. Snake bite leather. Yeah, exactly. What? I Green didn't car? know that the beer I was drinking was that proof. It was the Georgetown, what is it, the nine pound? Hammer? It's from here. Yeah. It was like the the eight pound porter or something. Mm. I didn't know. It sounds heavy to me. Yeah, is I it, mean, is it eight so, percent? Hang on. Uh, it didn't taste like it. Okay. Let's, let's not, it let's, didn't taste like it. You guys not, are getting really judgy name. with me right now. That's not. That's this is a. I thought this was a judgment free zone. There's no escape. Now, do you think that if a beer refers to itself as an industrial implement, and mm -hmm. then gives an explicit weight, do you think that is a drinkable session beer? Yeah. Madam. Why? Yeah, <laughs> and why? Because it's a working man's beer. You can't drink that liquor and go operate no, heavy no, no, machinery. No, 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 this is for after <sighs> when you good. feel like it is shit pretty and you need good. To rest your no, body. no, this is a hey. Good. You this can have like, this and you can you operate whistle? heavy Ooh, machinery. Yeah, yeah because no, you can't operate heavy machinery no matter how. Then why they name it after heavy machinery? I don't. It's it's math ain't math. They're, they're like, hey, the you know math what? Drink this if you have to operate a forklift. Yeah. And that's, yeah. I think that we and all I, understand. I take that seriously. And you won't feel bad about driving through someone. Yeah, because. Because you're so fucking wasted. <laughs> Sometimes on TikTok, and I don't know why, it shows me Chinese industrial safety videos. <laughs> 
Oh and they look like they, they we look, talked about this. But they're rendered in oh, something. I have that on Instagram. Yeah, I watch all that shit. They're rendered in something below um Gary's mod. <laughs> it it looks bad, but apparently it's really easy to die at work. They're funny. Especially in China, apparently. Yeah. They're they're loading people into cannons. I mean it's <laughs> it's it's crazy shit. All right, now it's it's 119. We gotta move ahead. Yeah. What's your beer for next week? Oh no! No, we're doing cereal beers. Uh, uh, so, so here, cereal so, here, beers. So take another sip, and then catch that. Like, sip. okay, that's not a sip, Ooh, yeah. Jasmine. What's more? <laughs> well, here, hey, I'm gonna get some. Do you want some? Oh, that's really good. Here, all I'm gonna say Isn't that it, really good? is that I mean, uh, we might be finishing this. Beer Jerry's next week. taken to calling me a lush because I'm a beer enjoyer. No, I don't. I call you a lush. Okay. I call you a lush because of your fatherless behavior. <gasps> okay, just, I have an amazing you know, relationship with both of my dads. That, oh, no, honestly, that's just true. Ask Jerry how many refills he's had so far. Don't ask him that, actually. It's, it's hereditary. Look at my dad. One of my dads drinks whiskey every night. The other dad drinks beer every night. I am a, basically a crack baby. I was set up yeah. from the womb. Yeah, to be to destroyed. Be, to be a beer <laughs> fiend. To be destroyed. <laughs> Did you say to live your best life ever? <laughs> <laughs> the best black remnant ever. Yeah. Oh, there oh, yeah. you go. So, uh, listen, I think that the right call, 10 minutes, it's not enough time to finish the beer recipe. But I think that it is enough time to get down into some real childhood trauma. So let's <laughs> just die. No, this is, this is a joke. What I was going to say is that that texture, which is like sort of like silky, right? That comes from milk sugar. And so Josh had the idea to start doing beers like make cereal, like cereal beers, which are not uncommon, right? Are you and sensitive? To lactose? No, to critique? Thoroughly, yeah. Don't say anything I don't want to hear. Unless you want to get What's fucking There's beat up. only one thing that can make this better, and that's more head. Oh. That's my fault. Yeah, this yeah. is. Blame is that your guy. fault? Yeah. That's carbonation. We, like, carbonation just. This yeah. is, yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, it just for, needs a little more head, no, right? No, for me, colder. Eric agrees. No, for me, colder and then more head retention. I don't no even question. Need, I don't even need it colder, just way more head. Yeah. Like, this needs foam. Up top. It needs like a Guinness it has, level It has to of have foam. a hat. No, yeah. no, no we already had this nitro. fantasy. You see, we had this fantasy too. Take that lacto sugar that gives mm -hmm. it that creamy texture, hit it with the nitro tank, and then pull it through the, the tap on the left, which is the nitro tap. I think this beer goes into the stratosphere. It goes crazy. I'd agree with that. It goes crazy. It goes crazy. One love. All the way up? Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, we will finish. So what we're doing is a crunch berry beer, but I think we can finish that next week. It'll be okay. We'll, we'll start in there. Oh, 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 oh. And then we also did a, a ginger bug cider. And you can, it, it's, it's a type of super simple like home brewing that you can basically do completely at home. You can see the material components of the spell right over there. I know. Cider? What are y'all? Y'all are doing some freaky, nasty no, 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 shit no, up in here. No, no, this, I'm here for it's it. It's not freaky. This, I'm, this is it's the not purpose. Freaky. Just look at what it's made out of. This is the purpose. Yeah. Oh, well, here, here, here. Let me show you what it is made out of. Now, you tell me if you, this is something you want to put in your mouth. That look, no, that's freaky, nasty shit. I'm here for it. It took that long to make. I'm not, I'm here for it, but that's. Taste it. Looks like lemon juice. I'm trying to, yeah, that's not what it looks like, Taste Ghostly. It. Yes, it does. I mean, I'm trying to figure out how to not TOS this All I want to do is just. Jasmine wants to taste it. It's no. a little syrupy. Um, I did try some. I'm not saying that you should. Taste but, it, Jasmine. Come on. Don't do it. But what I'm saying is he that just one up you. I combine you that it. with uh, you know. apple cider okay. and this ginger. This has, is your. This is like your homemade ginger that's my stuff, butt. right? Yeah, exactly right. And so half cup of that. I, that means it probably doesn't taste bad. No, no, it's gonna be okay. Yeah. Half, I mean, half of that and ginger. Blue pills that take you to make that. Blue pills? Blue pills? Oh, you don't know about this. The what are you on fentanyl? What no, 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 no. The al pills? Unfortunately, the algorithm is not serving you this content. Yeah. Um, it what thinks is, that it does not apply to you. But that's like a crazy thing to say out of context. Yes. <laughs> no, there's, there's, the there's, there's a lot of context. Oh, that is really good. That's really good. That is, that is this. Oh. Why did it look like that? Because no, it no. Is a, it's a new style. It is a sweet. Yes, hey, no, smell it. Smell, smell, smell. This, this isn't like this. These are two words I don't fuck with. Sour and IPA. It's exactly like it smells. It doesn't really taste like it. It's no. like a raspberry. Now, oh, see, now we're talking. This smells like something that came from 7-Eleven in a good doesn't way. Doesn't it just in the best way? Like. Imagine the slushy like version of this. 
No, there is nothing wrong with this. This we we think this is basically a new form of matter as beer is concerned. We don't know if it's beer exactly. I don't think that's beer. But we know that it's yeah. good. We know that it, it deserves a seat at the table, right? But if it's it not, makes your lip sticky, it's not beer. Yeah, that also, makes your lips. But also, look it's at the look at the slime. It's good, but that's like a mixed drink. Yeah, but look at the slime that it's it's left along. It's glazed. That's what I mean. Like yeah. it's like like you can it like leaves behind a residue that beer doesn't. Yeah, it's something something to peel away. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, it should be said. Uh, thank you very much for rolling back through for another episode of Black Remnant. What? Um, wait. The show is almost oh. over, FYI. We need to finish this beer. Oh, no, we don't. Uh, we're going to finish this beer next week. <laughs> There's five minutes left. <coughs> and What? I think we oh, yeah. Do it. We never do that. We can do it. Just five crank minutes. it out. Go. What the no. fuck? Let's go. Oh, shit, all right. Um, <laughs> no, we have done it before. No, we have not. Actually, we have. Yeah, I mean, you're here. The, uh, the, the, the smashes, which is what we did in, like, Yes, yes, but that's three ingredients, you goose. We're it's done. It's gonna be okay. You'll see. You'll Duval. See. Okay. I'm gonna come through, Lady K. I've been I've been drinking all of my beer at the old Valley House. I, that sounds like a great place. That's right? what I'm saying. Dude, I go I, hiking in that area. I need it. I need to go hang out at Old Valley House. Well yeah, on, on the weekends I see some like it's like the content during the week is like one type of content, and then on the weekend I see like natural scenes on your feed, and I'm like, hacked? It, he, why is he coming for me today? No, 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 I, I, I like it. I am a I, woman of layers. I, listen, like I, listen, this I'm beer. A, listen, I'm a very sophisticated. <laughs> I'm a sophisticated entity. I have a lot I'm going an on. onion, you can pull back my layer. You can't pull back my layers. No, uh, no, absolutely not. I'm like a steel onion, you can't pull back. <laughs> Yeah. I'm like a, like a rigid onion. Yeah. Um, yeah. A, like a really rigid. You know what I'm talking about? They're, I don't. What? Nova Cat, I think, has, has nailed this. Everyone is wasted? No. I, I, listen, I'm actually, I'm absolutely ready to, I'm ready to make important decisions. Yeah, uh huh. <laughs> That's why you keep hitting that beer over and over again. <laughs> I'm not hitting it. I mean, let's be clear about that. Something happened to it. I told you, there's something wrong with the Peter Oh my God. <laughs> um, but anyway, it's gonna be good. Orion Rogue, an absolute pleasure. We'll see you next week. Now, but no, obviously, thanks for coming and playing with the robot game. Now, you had a chance to experience the big robot part of the big robot game. Mm -hmm. What did you think? It's really good. It's super fun, right? Yeah, the last time I played Battletech was on this show called Death From Above that we actually shot oh, no, out of it's, here. It's, it's, I was gonna yeah. say, like, that and was I the was weird like, part. It's like, you knew about the, the building before you knew about me. This is the confusing game I've played in my life. Oh, yeah, yeah. At that time. The way they did it was really weird, too. Yeah, it was really it, confusing. It was tied into these, like, really complex, like, um, chat and crowd interactions yeah. with the corpse and yeah. the mercenary companies and stuff. Yeah. It was wild. It was wild. For sure. Yeah. I don't know that I don't know that it was it was my bag. But this no. version of that well, game yeah. oh, is my bag. Oh, did you think that we were going to pull you in here and you're going to be looking at some like really tables. big diagrams? I thought and I was going to be looking at tables. Well, there are tables, but they're really simple and really simple. Only a couple and, and you can actually like play the game. Yeah. Yeah, and all of your stuff is on this little card. So the 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 best hack of all is that there is a, a site called masterunitlist.info mm -hmm. that basically has those cards for everything in the game. Mm -hmm. So you can just go there and basically, like, we do this as a recreational activity. You just go there and shop for mechs that you think might be fun or cool to use in the future. Yeah. You already got me to make a thousand point army. What more do you want from me? <clears throat> well, here, and, and so. I have limits. Well. Okay. Let us let us discover. I have discover budgetary them. limits. I have time limits. Well, this is what you think, but I bet. This I, is what you think. I bet that if you, me, be, I, I bet that if you, me, and Eric sat down on the you weekend. You stood up, me and Eric, two weeks in a two row. Weeks in a row. Two, weeks, two in a row. weeks in a row, you stood but, me and Eric up. So you're saying this like it's something that I did. Yeah, uh, I believe so. I, 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 Hi. I, Hi. Is it working? Uh, Here, here's what I'm saying. Yeah, listen. This is a lot of whips. No, listen, here's what I'm saying. I think that if the three of us sat down with your plastic, I think that we could get a thousand points done for you in a weekend easy. 
He's okay. the three of us together. I think we could. There's no question. And then you can I, get. But and I then have to, to listen to Eric's advice of not stripping them. Because what, what happens is I make progress. I'm like, this one looks better than the rest of them. And I strip the old ones. But oh, Eric has no. forbidden me from stripping anything. Well, and, so and, I and, might and, actually and progress and finish Kiko, a thousand points. Kiko would do the same thing. That's why Kiko's a Kiko, little bronze coated. Kiko would Mike do the same thing. Mike is more bronze coated, but Kiko's a little bronze coated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a funny thing. It, it, the truth is, like, if you look at his his work, his work is at, it's at the highest level. Yeah. It's amazing. It's really nice. But he hates it. Mm -hmm. That's that's the part of the game he hates mm -hmm. is painting those mechs. Mm -hmm. But that's what they look like when he's done. Not for you. You don't have to have that. We can just get them ready to go, and you can fuck with them later if you want. But then but when if we I, give you a grand when of I'm points, when I'm fighting then we can play. you, and then my army doesn't look good, how are they gonna feel good and roll well? Fair point. Uh, I love the I love the hustle. <laughs> um, that sounds to me like you don't want to paint mechs. No, I do. And, um, but I felt horrible the first week, and then the next week, I'm still not happy with my crab, but at least I don't want to like kill myself when it's on camera. Like I'm not happy with it, but I'm like you see it on camera? Oh dude, Josh Josh's okay. camera Josh's cameras okay. make okay. make a mech. It's okay. They it's, make a mech look pretty good. It's an okay mech now. But the first iteration of it? V1? Crah. All right, now. Uh gather ed throngs. Oh, painting elementals? No. That sounds like, that sounds like a nightmare scenario. Now, uh, so here's what we're gonna do. I know that you are looking at this faux medieval bar, and you're saying certainly that must be the only configuration for this studio. Well, th that's where you'd be wrong. In fact, you're dead wrong. Soon, you will find this arena radically transformed uh, into a place of war um, for the next episode of BattleTech Black Remnant. Special guest, Jasmine Bular, that bronze girl. Back I'm not at special. it. special. I'm here all the time. You guys are probably tired of me. <laughs> the, the likelihood is very low. You have delivered a consistently great experience. Oh. I love these guys. Chat, I love y'all. Oh, well, you're great. Well, yeah, of course. They've watched you kick ass on this show. They're not fucking surprised. No, but I'm here on Fridays now. I'm here a lot. There was a time where I was on this True. channel like three days a week. Yeah. It was like... The Ack Inc. series, Seattle mm -hmm. by Night, and then Friday. There was like a brief period of time where I was here like three days. No. Uh, you know, listen, we can discuss that in greater detail. But uh, what I will say in the interim period is that there's a technique you may not know. Hmm. And that is that in order to move from this program to the next program, there is a, a special technique, a ritual, that has to be concluded in order for it to happen. It requires. Now, don't be terrified. It's never happened before, but I want you to observe it done, and in the future, you may be able to join me in it. I have but to seize the machinery of the universe. Watch this. <laughs> 